Hello, welcome to this project. It's an interesting, interesting little, unique, kind of a peculiar little box in the shape of a pair of sunglasses. Uh, it's got two compartments in it. And this key does not come out. That's just a swivel point. This is a, a key that keeps it locked in, keep it closed. So that's this project. Now, if you stay tuned, I'll uh, introduce you to the material and the pattern and how I cut this and put it together. And I wanted to present the material and the pattern for this project. This is an image that I downloaded online. It's a free image. Uh, it's a vector image. And I put it in Inkscape to print it out. Sized it up a little larger. <coughs> but that's uh, just something I downloaded for free online. I'm going to use that as the pattern. And I'm going to have two, two kinds of wood, the frame and the glass piece. I'm going to make the, this is a walnut. It's going to be the glass piece. I'm not sure what this is. It came in a seconds package. It's nice looking wood. It's going to be the frames. Could look kind of tortoise shelly, I hope. Uh, the body of the box is going to be this. That's maple. I'm going to cut that and layer it into two layers. It'll be a one inch deep box, but that's maple. And this is, uh, I believe it's ash or something like that. I'm going to use it as the bottom. It's uh, come up a seconds package also. It's the thinnest piece I had. That's the reason I'm going to use it for that. But I'm going to layer these up, cut these to size. I'm going to layer these to cut. That's going to be uh, uh, inlays. These will be inlaid into this to make these glass pieces. And so, and also I'm going to use these these pegs, these are uh, axle rods for uh, like a train, little wooden train set. But I'm going to use one to swivel on. It's going to be glued in the in the base of the, the box. And the other one will just be a key that you can pull out. It'll lock it in and you can pull it out to open it. So i got to layer all this up and then we'll get ready to start cutting. Alright, this is going to be an inlay. It's, I've got the dark wood on top, the, the uh, walnut, and I'm going to try to inlay it into the lighter wood. So I've got my little holes drilled right here. I've got my table set at about two degrees, and i got to make sure I cut the same direction all around. should be simple enough. I want the bottom tapered in so the top one will slide, in, slide into the bottom one. So I'm going to have to cut and get it right here. And we have to cut this direction. So I'm going to loosen the blade, put it through the hole, and make the cut. Okay, got it inserted. As it's sitting now, the, the blade is angled to the right on the top side. So that would make the, the, the bottom tapered inward. And so I have to cut push the piece in that direction, the blade will come in this direction all the way around. I'll have to do the same thing on the other side. So here we go. All right, I've reset the uh, table back to level again. Tighten that blade a little bit and make sure it's right. It's looking good. And I'm going to cut the outline. I got the same blade, that's the number three blade. XL blade. Well, I like the way that turned out. Those inset just nicely. They won't come out the back side. And I'm going to glue them just like that. I'll fill these holes with a little sawdust from some of this walnut. And uh, then I'm going to use this as the pattern. And I'll show you how to do that for the box itself. The box is going to stick out around it a little bit. So I'll show you how I trace that pattern on here in a minute. But first I'm going to glue these in. Don't need a 
lot of glue. I just want to stick it in there and there'll be some sanding to do once it sets. I gotta get it right. So I'm going to clamp those right there and let it sit for a while and it'll come back. I'll try to fill these holes in with a little sawdust and sand both sides nice and even. Okay, so I got the, uh, the eyeglasses part, the lid, looking pretty good. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to transfer. I want this, this is the body. I've got two pieces laminated. I've changed my material on that since I started. Now there's That's the story behind that. But anyway, I've changed the material. And uh, I've got this sanded. i got the little holes uh, filled in so you can't see. There was, a, there was a knot on that piece that I filled in. And I've got that sanded down. i got my holes drilled for the little pegs. And I'm going to mark the hole on this while it's on there. But I've got it clamped down because I don't want it to move. I'm going to use this washer to transfer the pattern to make it 3 16th wider than the lid. So this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to roll that pattern, that washer around with the pencil in it. And you see it transfers it real nicely. I'm going to finish that. I'll have to probably move the uh, clamps a little bit to get every bit of it. But I'm going to finish that up and mark these holes and then I'll be ready to cut this out. And I'm going to take the bottom that I'm going to use as a bottom and I'm going to stack it with it so they'll be cut the same. So let me finish this and then we'll get over the scroll saw in just a little bit. Okay, so I got these pieces stacked. I went ahead and started the holes so I have them lined up properly. Then we'll go all the way through. I got this stack now with the with the bottom on it. I also drew the uh, the openings for the inside of the box. I used the leftover piece from the insert inlay piece. That's the walnut piece that's on top. I used it to trace this inner pattern. So now I got a number seven blade in, and I'm gonna cut the outline of it and remove the bottom piece off of it drill this and cut those out. So here we go, we're going to cut the outline on it right now. Alright, I got this cut out and I've sanded on it, drilled those holes to the depth they're supposed to be. This is going to be the top, it's going to be the bottom. This is the bottom I'm going to glue on it. I'm going to glue that on now and let that set a little bit. Uh, got this piece ready to go pretty well. Uh, I may do a little more sanding, but I think it's pretty well ready to go. And I got these two little pieces. Uh, one of these will be glued at the bottom, the other one will be a pull out and put back in type of thing. But for now I'm going to glue this on and finish sanding the bottom of that and uh, making it make sure it's all even all the way around. And then I'll flip it over and install. Well, actually I may finish it before I do that. I want to finish this and before I get it all put together and finish the inside of the box. I'm probably going to use uh, uh, Danish oil on it this time. Uh, but I'm going to do that before I install the lid. So for now, I'm going to get this glued on.
Well, I've got them pretty well sanded. I've uh, put some uh, Danish oil on it. Now I'm going to mount the lid. This will be a pretty simple little job. Just got to put a little glue in one spot. I got this one fits pretty tight in that hole right there, and that's the way I wanted it. But let me get a little glue put down in there. Won't need much. It's going to be pretty tight anyway. Put this on there. Okay, that one fits a little tighter. We'll put it over here. pretty much the finished product. I'll probably let it sit a few days and I may seal it with some polyurethane or something. I might have to sand this a little bit. It's a little tight. I wanted it tight but I don't want it too tight. Anyway, that's pretty much the finished product. So I'll let that glue set and I'm going to do a little more cleaning on it and probably seal it. But until then, that's it. I just got the Danish oil on it for now. And uh, it's kind of an unusual little box. Hope you enjoyed seeing that done. And I'll try to find some other unusual stuff. And if you like that, we'll hit the like button and the subscribe button. And uh, maybe you'll know when I'll get something, something <clears throat> even more peculiar coming out. So thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next video.